Hey, how's it going? I'm Hans from New England. Welcome to the biggest party on the planet, Bonnaroo, Tennessee. I'm here to see Primus. It's going to be awesome. A couple 12-hour shifts, so I'm good to go. Cool, man. What's your name? Where are you from, bro? How you doing? My name's Tom. I'm from Pittsburgh, Bethel Park. Traveled out here. It took about 12 hours, I would say. But first, I uh, blew two pistons before we got here, so we had to travel three hours back, get another car, and travel three hours back in the same direction and add upon 10 hours or so. Did you make it on time before the first band no, started? No, we didn't. We had to go to a hotel actually for the first night and got here around 3 o'clock a.m. last night. Oh, all right, cool. Yeah, so we missed the first day, but, you know, we still made it. That's all that counts. No doubt, man. You're here, Bonnaroo right. 2011. Yeah. Ow! There you go. Favorite band? Uh, favorite band here would have to be... I'm a big fan of Pretty Lights. I love Pretty Lights. rat tat along the line. STS-9, I'm very psyched to see. Um, uh, Robert Plant's here, Allison Krauss. Uh, a lot of great shows this year, so I mean, not too much to pick from. I mean, not too many. I want to choose from my favorite, but I would say those are probably along the line of my favorites. Cool, man. Cool. Yes. Have a rockin' time, brother. All right, you too, man. No doubt. Thanks, man. You're on. What's happening? I'm Jordan. We came from Austin, Texas, and we're supposed to be here yesterday, but we got in a car accident. Oh. So 24 hours ago, we were in the hospital. I've got my wristband on. Wow, where so was we the made accident? It, here. it was about two hours south of here. Uh, yeah. Thank God but, you're not hurt. Well, yeah. Broke my nose, got a bump on the head, but. You look great. We made it here, <laughs> and I'm excited to be alive and see everyone. Awesome. <laughs> Any certain band you're here to see? I'm just excited to be here because yeah. I thought I wasn't going to be. So. Awesome. <laughs> Awesome. Hi, I'm Cooper Leaf. I'm from New Hampshire, here at Bonnaroo. Beautiful day. It's my second shift. I'm working parking. Uh, I don't really do anything. There's about 20 of us over there sitting down. <laughs> but they're treating us pretty good. Um, this weekend, I'm looking forward to seeing the late night stuff. Stuff is all fun. Girl Talk, STS9. Uh, what else? Pretty lights, but mostly I'm looking forward to Buffalo Springfield and Black Keys, Neil Young. I grew up with Neil Young. My dad blasted that stuff all my life. <laughs> awesome. It's awesome seeing the tunes you grew up with, ain't it, man? Hearing oh, yeah. them? It's nutty. No doubt. What do you do for a living, man? I am a sound engineer uh, or multi purpose music industry person. Uh, I work at festivals like this doing parking or ticketing, box office stuff a lot. Um, I travel nationally with one band, Roots of Creation. It's reggae, rock, jam, dubtronica, big party, light show. I dub stuff out. Uh, check them out. <laughs> Definitely. What's the last time, that, what's the last show of theirs that you were at? Uh, last show of theirs? Uh, the other weekend we did a festival in Massachusetts called Strange Creek, uh, Wormtown. Um, which is a really fan favorite local festival up in our area. Um, and we did Bomb Fest, which is in its third year. Uh, it's no camping, but great lineup. Uh, all proceeds go to a cause. I wish I could remember what the cause was, but Snoop Dogg and Weezer were there. Very cool, very cool. <laughs> and, uh, State Radio and Parliament Funkadelic was supposed to go, but George Clinton got sick because he doesn't take care of himself. Uh, <laughs> and is this the biggest festival you've ever been to? Because this one's pretty huge, man. Yeah, this is definitely the biggest. I was at Rothbury both times uh, working there, and that, that was about 60,000 people, and amazing, amazing festival, but this is by far the most massive thing I've attended or been involved with. It's pretty cool. Some of the awesome security guards here at the Bonnaroo Festival, they've been taking great care of the fans, man, no doubt about it. Helping people out with directions, helping them find their friends, helping them find their campsites. Security's been A-plus here so far, man. It's great to see. I think there's water at the bottom of that one. What's happening, guys? What's up, man? All Bonnaroo. right. Yeah, Bonnaroo. Bonnaroo 11. <laughs> no doubt, man. What's your guys' names? Where are you coming from? 
I'm Garrett uh, from Knoxville, Tennessee. Chris Clary from Knoxville, too. We've been coming, uh, I've been coming with him the past uh, three years, so 09, 10, and 11. It's my fourth year. I missed 08, had a motorcycle accident, or I would have been here, but uh, great festival. Gets better every year. Just glad it's in the state of Tennessee. Nice. How much different is it this year compared to past years? Man, this place never really changes. It's always the same. It's I guess we're really little, just a little city in Manchester. Whoa. Blows up to what? How many people are you? 80,000. 80,000 people. Sold out this year for sold the first time out. ever. So No, it's not the first time ever. Beautiful. It's sold out. Yeah, it's, it's sold out a bunch. What's some of the bands you're here most interested in seeing? <laughs> Sisters, sisters, man. I really want to see them. They're they're a cool band, and, and uh, there's just there's just a lot of bands. The, the late the late night the late night uh, sessions. Want to see Pretty Lights and Bass Nectar. Sounds like uh, get down at night. Do some partying. I've talked to a lot of fans. A lot of people are telling me City Lights is the band to see. Really? Yeah. I haven't really even checked them out. Yeah, I probably do that. I'm gonna have to check them out too. Last night we saw uh, Sleigh Bells and uh, um, Beats Antique. That was a good time. Uh, I want to see Wiz Khalifa, man. I just I love I love his uh, style, and uh, I'm not even that big into rap per se, but and especially rap concerts. But he's he's a good time. It'll be good to see. Well, we drove down at uh, what three. I was in Knoxville last night at 10 o'clock, eating dinner, last minute decision, and uh, here I am this morning at Bonnaroo. You Guilt made a good call, it. man. You made a good call. Bought yeah, tickets, that's what I'm saying. sold out show, got tickets on the street cheaper than uh, get them off the website, and here we are. Hey, if you don't mind me asking, how much did you pay for your ticks? Uh, we paid six fifty for three ticks. <laughs> All right, I paid two and a quarter. So you know, not not too bad. That's sweet, man. It's, for the whole weekend, pretty good. Got the got the first year of the uh, bracelets with chips in them. No more sneaking in. Right, right. What's crazy that's, is you that's have to over. you have to check in, but then check out too. So I mean, that's kind of nice, you know. You spend that much money on a ticket, but it, I mean, it's a double-edged sword, I guess. After you want to like sell it early, cool. You leave early. All right. Give a big whoop for Bonnaroo, man. Bonnaroo! Hi, my name is Leslie Gilmer and I'm here from Indianapolis, Indiana. This is kind of a, a Woodstock for me because my parents, at the time Woodstock came, I was told that if I went to that I would be disowned. So now I am here. They have, they have since passed on. They're probably looking down at me shaking their heads. But anyway, uh, so far I'm having a good time. I'm looking forward to seeing Bella Fleck. Allison Krauss, um, Buffalo Springfield, and Robert, I think I said Robert Plant, and, uh, and it took us about six and a half hours from Indianapolis. Good trip. Wonderful trip. Wonderful trip. No, no holdups or anything, so it was great. Looks like we're going to have great weather. So I'm looking forward to it. You know, we had such a cold winter in upstate New York that I oh. love 95. To oh, we had a bad one in Indianapolis. A lot of ice and freezing temperatures. So this is great. But, uh, great. One big whoop for the Roo. Go Roo! <laughs> My name's Pete. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, this place is awesome. If you've never been here, you need to get here now. Have you been to the room before? Last year I came. Hey, what's the differences between last year and this year? We came a little bit late. Traffic was a lot better than trying to get here right in the front of the pack. Uh, the roads are better. They got gravel down. There's sand inside. It's not so muddy. Um, those are the main differences I can see. Cool. What bands are you here to see? I'm ready to see Primus, Galactic. I like Robert Plant because I always dug Zeppelin. That's one of my favorite bands. Um, Allison Krauss is going to be good. 26 time Grammy winner. Can't go wrong there. She's amazing. I saw her with Robert Plant a couple of years ago. Truly amazing voice. Right on, right on. Um, 
We're just going to have a good time. The meters should be cool. Buffalo Springfield's old school. They're going to be good. Hippie generation, kind of. What's the last concert you went to before this? Last concert I went to was Trans-Siberian Orchestra. <laughs> All right, this is Front Row Dave reporting live from Bonnaroo, Manchester, Tennessee. 80,000 fans, 100 bands. My God, it's an amazing event. Came in last night. It's a little dusty here, that's for sure, but came in last night. An incredible experience. Security staff have been phenomenal helping people out. The venue is very well designed, good walking around, good, a um, lot of vendors in a lot of different areas and locations, so it's easily accessible to get anything you need. The prices are ridiculously, outrageously high, but, you know, they got you and they know it, so that's the way it goes. But I'm looking forward to quite a few bands. My personal favorite, as anyone who knows me knows, Alberta Cross is the A number one band for me. I can't wait. I'm very lucky that they're going to be the first band on stage tomorrow. So I'm going to be standing out three to four hours in advance so I can be front row for the seventh time seeing those guys. Love you guys. Robert Plant and the Band of Joy, can't wait for them. They're going to rock it out. I'm also looking forward to seeing some different types of music I don't usually go to. I'm looking forward to seeing Eminem. That's going to be pretty interesting stuff for Front Row Dave, a normal uh, classic rock and roller. Uh, but you know what? This tour, I'm going to be experiencing a lot of different musics, a lot of different artists that I've never even uh, really thought about doing before. So it's going to be a great time here at Bonnaroo. There are so many awesome fans here, I can't tell you. I feel at home. All right, this is Front Row Dave here live at Bonnaroo 2011. It's Friday morning and man, fans are all over the place. Loving the bands from last night, man. People are just going nuts about the fantastic music that these promoters have put on for us. It's just been fantastic. What's your name? Where are you from, bro? My name is Chris and I'm actually about 30 miles out of here from Bonnaroo up on uh, Old Highway 8 on the Cumberland Plateau. I live at uh, Isha Inner Sciences. It's the Isha Yoga Center. And um, we've been establishing there for about three years now, and we just came down to hang out, see what's going down at Bonnaroo. Haven't been here for about, what is it, five years now. And I uh, was here back in 2006, and i um, here just scoping out the scene, seeing what's going down, man. Cool. Any big differences you notice between 06 and this year? Well, one thing I'm noticing, they're really pushing, you know, the green, you know, this year. You know, I'm seeing a lot more environmental efforts, you know, keeping... Uh, you know, the recycling going on, the compost I'm seeing everywhere, it's been pretty groovy. Not everyone's utilizing it. I mean, it's true, you know, a lot of people are still throwing their beer bottles on the thing, but a few people, you know, at least they're making a conscious effort, you know, because, I mean, this is what we need right now, you know, this planet, you know, it's it's on the brink, you know, in many ways. So it's cool that they're doing that. I'm still appreciating that. But, um, you know, I'm seeing a more, um, how do you say, diverse lineup this year i'm feeling you know from when i went like five years ago it's still a little bit more oriented just in the jam band direction you know like um everything from bluegrass to folk and the the i mean emo pop and you know things like fish you know the super jam was there last year trey and uh what was it the bennett resto duo or what, what was their name i'm not sure not sure yeah, yeah me neither man i can't remember but <laughs> i didn't this is my first row that's your first row first row won't be the last i did woodstock 94 and 99 because that's where i'm from I dig that, man. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Big Absolutely. Man. No doubt about it. So, yeah, it's been a great event so far, man. Absolutely fantastic. So you're kind of a local, sort of, right? You can call me a local. Um, I mean, I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana originally, but, um, you know, I'm, this is my home now, you know, Tennessee down here because I'm just living up in the mountain, living up in the forest now, and... Um, and coming down and just seeing the people you know it was really cool this morning actually i went to the morning yoga class um read by, i think they were gypsy hands was the name of the group and um it was really groovy you know i saw hundreds of people you know getting up early in the morning it's bonner you think everyone's up partying and they're crashed out in the morning but there's hundreds of people out there you know pushing themselves pushing their limitations you know and doing this yoga practice you know is that inside the event sponsored by the event yeah or? it's sponsored by the event it's at the um solar stage is where it was held at and um, they're actually right they're having a kirtan right now i'm about to head back and hit up the kirtan kick out the jams with them and and, uh, you know, it's just, it's been really inspiring because, you know, I'm seeing also just, you know, just having the yoga aspect here and, you know, everything else that's happening at this place, you know, and people are looking in so many ways, you know, just to expand their possibilities. And, you know, I'm just seeing, I'm seeing that more and more now, especially in America and the human, you know, the humans, they're not satisfied with the American dream. What was here before, you know, they're looking for something more. And even back in Woodstock, I forget who it was, some Swami or some guru came, you know, and even spoke to the people there. They were imparting Kriya Yoga at Woodstock, you know. So here it's just, I know, it's really inspiring to see that, you know, because I'm mostly living in the ashram now. But 
you know, being here and seeing that. I'm just seeing the human potential and, you know, people seeking that's there. You know, they want something more. I like to look at it like, um, you know, history has always been we learn from the government. The government writes the books and tells us what we do, what we can do and what we should do as kind of a rule of thumb. But these days, the people are really taking it upon themselves to um, live for themselves, live for what they believe is right, not necessarily what the government and the and, you know the general big brother tells us what's right we're really thinking for ourselves these days Absolutely. compared to what um, history has been in the past and uh, it's just a beautiful thing man that people are really looking outside the box different ways of looking things and uh, different ways of living their life other than the norm the quote norm so yeah, they're pushing the limits man and uh, that's beautiful because you know I mean, like um, the founder of our foundation, Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudev, you know, he always says, if you don't break out of your shell, you're just a nut. Very good, man. Very good. It's been fantastic chatting with you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it.